Hi, this is Pavel from Firebase GenKit team. And today uh, I'd like to take a closer look at what uh, flows are. So a uh, flow in Firebase GenKit is like you can think of it as a, as a function. So uh, instead of a you know, function keyword, you'd be using define flow uh, function. So to define a flow, you need to give it a name. So we're just gonna be creating a simple math flow. Uh, you can uh, also give it an input schema. So uh, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be taking in an object with a field A that is going to be a number and a field B that is also going to be a number. And it will be, um, I'll set setting output schema and output schema is going to be a string. So, and it takes a callback here and it's gonna be uh, the callbacks taken, uh, you know, input parameter. And then here we can say input A, maybe plus input B. This is our, you know, a simple math function. So actually it, it, it expects a string output. So we'll just like, just quickly convert it to a string like this. But I mean, the, the GenKit is a Gen AI framework. So uh, let's use an LLM to, uh, to calculate, uh, you know, do the math. So we'll be using, you know, generate function uh, generate function takes a prompt, so it will be um, calculate this, and we'll be doing you know input a plus input b. So this is going to be like a, a math equation that we're g giving to the LLM, and we need to specify the model that we're going to be using. We'll be using Gemini 1.5 Flash. Um, and well, let's await on this. We're getting the response and we'll just uh, return text. And that's it. That's our math flow. So it has input, output. Uh, it is strongly typed because we specified the schema. So we get like full uh, full code completion on, on this. Like if we try to return a wrong, uh, you know, type, it's going to complain. Oh, sorry, it's just, like, this is going to be a wrong type, so it's going to complain. So, um, and you know, let's try run this. So let's just quickly assign it to a variable. Uh, let's create a simple main function here, and we'll await uh, run flow. And and here you see, like again, we're getting code completion. So we're trying to run the flow math. Let's say a, you know, plus b, I don't know, four plus six. So to to run this, we're just gonna go to the command line and just basically run npm run build and node uh, lib index.js is gonna compile this code and we're just gonna run it. So we see the call to the LLM and this is our response. So four plus six equal 10. Good job, Gemini 1.5 flash. So uh, this is, you know, uh, basically th this shows that you can use uh, flows, like if you're just writing a, a simple script with node, maybe you have like a CLI or whatever, you know, program you're uh, running. But, you know, uh, one other nice feature of of flows is that you can actually just uh, deploy deploy them as an HTTP endpoint. So to do this, we're just going to say run flow server, and you can say you know specify which uh, flow you want to run. You're going to say let's run the math flow, and let's run this again. So and instead of the response, we're just seeing okay a starting flow server on port thirty four hundred. Uh, and we're serving math flow at slash math. So we, uh, we can go and uh, just make a curl request to that uh, to that port. And here's our, you know, and this path to math. And we're passing in the data. And this is going to be our object A and B. Let's do something different. Let's see if it can calculate 3 plus 9 and give it a bit of a challenge.
So we're making a HTTP call, and here it give, gives us the uh, result, 3 plus 9 equals 12. So yeah, awesome. So like th this kind of shows that you know uh, flows are you know you can run them locally, you can run them uh, remotely, you can. Uh, there's also also a way to uh, deploy them as a Firebase Cloud function. So instead of defined flow, we would be uh, using on flow keyword. Uh, we'll, we might cover this uh, separately. Uh, but one other uh, feature of flows is that they're also fully observable. So uh, and and to see uh, that in action, we'll just uh, start the GenKit Dev UI. So here it is uh, bringing up our uh, GenKit Tools UI. Uh, let's make this bigger. And this one was a little smaller. So uh, refresh. So here we see our math flow, and it's very convenient. Uh, our because we know the object schema. We're just gonna say okay. Uh, six plus twenty-five. Let's see if we can. Um, okay, it calculates, and because it's it's fully observable, you, you know you notice there's a you know a trace button here, and we can click on it, and we can see what's going on within the flow. So we, we see here's our LLM call, um, and then we see this was the input to the LLM. There was a user message. Calculate this, and this was the output. Uh, this was the the content that it generated, and the nice thing from here, like we can just quickly jump to the to the model play, playground, and we can play with a specific prompt. Uh, we can run it directly and and see what the uh, what the model generates. So uh, yeah, and, and here, like if you just click on the inspect tab, you, you can see all these different runs. Like this is the one that we just ran from the dev UI. This is our, our previous run. And we can go click on this. It's going to take us automatically populate those inputs. And we can quickly uh, run and uh, and replay this. One other uh, feature of, of flows is um, uh, it supports streaming. So um, let's show how we can we can stream things. So let's uh, so the the way you do streaming is is you. Uh, uh, add a second uh, argument here to our uh, flow, and it's a uh, streaming callback. And uh, and streaming callback is is a function that you can call, and you could just basically, well, so it, it is uh, it is optional. So if uh, it can be uh, undefined, so we basically have to ch uh, check if streaming callback is provided. So basically, the call is it means that the flow is being called in streaming mode. If, if streaming callback is provided, we can say, you know, hi. And uh, let's just go quickly try this. So uh, this is our flow, and we will run it in streaming mode. And there, the stream re response, it says it streamed hi, and then it returned the, the, the final result. So uh, we can also like, see this uh, if we run this in uh, over HTTP. So uh, we've been, uh, you know, so we, we can pass in a an option here, stream true, and and we see here's our high, and then the the final response. So um, this, uh, yeah, we're just kind of saying hi, and th this is not particularly uh, uh, exciting. So uh, let's see. Let's stop this. I want to run Gen Get Start. So uh, what what we can do instead of just you know sending just random stuff here, like you know m maybe uh, we can do you know uh, count right. So we, we can say you know count from uh, you know input B or something, and and then for for each of those we're gonna you know, calls our streaming callback and then pass that in like this. Um, let's just try this. 
and we're seeing oh, this is going to be counting until uh, actually counted pretty pretty fast but you know yeah so we, we've been we've been counting here uh, but uh, instead of just doing something uh, ourselves with the, with this uh, with the streaming callback and I guess it shows that you know you can stream pretty much whatever you want uh, we can just pass it to the to the model right so this the, the generate function uh, takes the streaming callback in the uh, in the same format, so the, the the streaming callback API is is uh, compatible across different concepts within GenKit. So, and here we, if we run this again, we just basically can see uh, we can run the the model in streaming mode, and in here we, we see chunks from the LLM, and LLM basically said, okay, six plus fifty five equals equals uh, sixty one. So basically. Uh, what you can do with this is is build a UI, uh, like a chat UI or or whatever, where you get the response from LLM in small chunks, and you can progressively render it in the UI. So yeah, this is basically flows. So flows are just functions that you can uh, you know put arbitrary code into. They're strongly typed for both inputs and outputs. You can run them as an HTTP endpoint, either as a basic HTTP server here, or deploy them as a cloud as a cloud function, uh, and you can stream stuff from them. So just by using the streaming callback, which you can pass to your uh, AI primitives within your code and and stream things in chunks. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.